Are you enjoying watching the series on YouTube? If so, please consider also following me on Instagram, where I'm currently uploading behind the scenes photos from my time unicycling across the States. Okay, on with the video. Here's a tip. Don't ever put talcum powder on your ass, then ride a unicycle. Not a good idea. Last time, saddle sores were definitely the order of the day. Having tried and failed on many occasions over the years to alleviate this problem, nothing had ultimately worked, and the humid environment here in the south had caused my bum pains to become pretty unbearable. I got so desperate that I even tried applying baby powder. This was a terrible mistake. Ah, oh, I think it's turned to a paste. I'm riding on a one-man wheel car, some bill, analog, 36 inches, across the USA. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna get myself into. Do, do, yeah. My name's Ed, and I'm riding a unicycle around the world. Join me on this series as I attempt to cycle 4,000 miles across the United States of America. However, it seemed that light may be at the end of the tunnel, because Unicycle.com's HQ in Atlanta was just 300 miles up the road. I figured, as the leading distributors of unicycles in the United States, they may well have a solution to my arse ache. Motivated by the thought of a more comfortable ride, I forced myself to keep pedaling through Alabama towards Atlanta, Georgia. About halfway across Alabama, it seemed I may soon be receiving some company. Just checking some emails, and a guy called Wendell says that a bunch of Alabama unicyclists are going to come out and meet me. And what's the Unicycle Club called? Magic City Muni Club. We were a proper ragtag group of riders, and it really brightened my day to cruise with them. I don't think I thought about my saddle sores once. I honestly didn't record that much, but no bother, because Will filmed most of the day, putting his own fun video together from our meeting. I'd urge you to go check that out. We made about 20 miles together in the end, finishing at a pizza place in a small town called Berlin. Yep. What can you tell me about Berlin? Berlin is a small little town, little bitty tiny town. Yeah. Anything special about it? Well, we got a Dollar General and we got the best barbecue in town. All right, Ed. We know you're hungry. Cheers, guys, for this <laughs> food. Cheers, Magic City Muni Club. It was great to ride with you all. It was at this pizza place that I met Jimbo. He invited me to come stay in his caravan that night. We've, we've just had him for about, what, two months? Maybe. We just bought him. We just bought him, so. Here's your bedroom. Oh, wow. You were good ghost sinks here, showers here? You got a shower? You got yes, a shower in this thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well rested, I thank Jimbo and Mitzi for their hospitality and continue my journey east through the muggy Alabama heat. Now just 150 miles away from Atlanta, I was very keen to finally reach Unicycle.com's HQ. <laughs> Get it? T take care of your trash? I, I thought it was funny. Anyway, uh, I camped up in a cemetery last night and it's getting pretty hot pretty soon. I think it's already like 7.30. And I need to get on the road. I soon found myself cruising a wonderful cycle path that would take me across the state line into Georgia. Quite a big day today. Um, I've got to ride 65 miles to get to Atlanta. And waiting for me there is Amy. Um, and she's the owner of Unicycle.com in the USA. Um, also waiting is a shower and a bed and some food, I imagine. So that's, I mean, that's some motivation. But 65 miles, ugh, it's gonna hurt. But at least, at least, I'm actually on a decent cycle trail. This is lovely. This is, this is one of the first cycle trails I've actually been on uh, in the whole of the States. And apparently there's not so many that are like this. This is apparently the longest cycle trail, paved cycle trail, in the USA. It's about 100 miles, and this section in Georgia is called the Silver Comet Trail, and it's gorgeous! I ended the 65 mile day searching for Amy's house in the dark. This wouldn't have been too bad if it wasn't also absolutely tipping it down. Woo! It's raining now! I'm a mile away, and I can't wait to get there! 
and I'm shouting at 9.30 in the night time. Probably waking up babies. Uh, well, I've just taken refuge underneath a church. That is some serious rain. I just got absolutely drenched. After a short regroup, I venture back out into the rain in search of Amy's house. Hey, Doc. Oh, around the back, yeah? Okay. Marietta is one of Atlanta's biggest suburbs and sits just 15 miles from its center. It's also home to the USA branch of Unicycle.com and the main reason I cycled here. I was staying with Amy Drummond, the president of the company, and I had high hopes of leaving Marietta with my saddle sores eliminated. So this is the entry you come in. This is like our showroom. So um, on the wall here is our museum that Josh actually put up. It's got all the old oh, beginnings yeah. and product. And is there some kind of air thing going on on that saddle? Though? Yes. So that's an air, a Miata air saddle. Yeah. But the, see how someone's grommeted the cover yeah. and made it their own. This is like the beginning mountain unicycle right there. All the different saddle handles. Yeah. This was uh, the original. That's pretty bowed, isn't it? Yes, but look how uh, thick it is. This it's original bad. beginning saddle. This is, do you remember when Chris had the double headed? No. Oh, yeah, for putting your feet on the, yeah, on the frame more easily. Your knees on it. But it, we were trying, right? Here we are in the industry trying stuff, right? Here's the crystal I told Amy about the problems I've been facing, and it seemed I may actually be in luck. A few years back, the company had designed these air cushions but I'd yet to find a reliable manufacturer to produce them in bulk. You see that? The, uh, like okay. These are, these are um, solid, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one, the air moves, right? Oh, it moves like from cell to cell. Yes. Yeah. yes. But this might work on, I don't know if you can, how could you put it on your current saddle and help you unless you put this over top, would that work? I'll have to have a play. Amy was more than happy for me to take one and mess around with it, so I headed to their workshop to begin construction. <laughs> Check out what I just found. That guy looks familiar. Okay, so this is a saddle that they just had lying around. Amy said I can take it apart. It's a KH base. Um, it's quite curved, but the idea is I can take off the foam off this, throw this air inside it and then put the cover back on. I, I've never taken a saddle apart before, so we'll find out. That's a lot of glue. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay. So this should... Yeah, it's a pretty good fit. Okay, okay. It's looking a little bit more promising. So I'm at this stage. I've kind of got the cover back on. The air is inside this. Um, these two kind of plastic bumpers are holding it kind of in place. I think it'll be enough just to test it. The annoying thing is that the seat post that this one takes, it's like this seat post, is different from the seat post that my current saddle takes. So I'm going to take this off, take this off, put the new seat post in and then try the saddle. Because taking my bike apart would have been a lot of work and I frankly can't be asked, um, I've nicked one of Unicycle.com's show bikes. It's just a standard uh, 36 inch trainer bike that they make and I've bunged my monstrosity of a saddle on top of it and I'm going to test it out. Problem is I really don't know because <laughs> it's so different from my normal bike anyway. This is the problem. The only way to test this stuff really is to put a few hundred miles on it, uh, but I'm not prepared to carry two saddles. So if I do end up taking this one with me on the trip and then realize that it's crap <laughs> uh, and, it, and it doesn't work, um, then I'm gonna be stuck with just having this saddle. I mean, but that run there, it felt comfortable, but then riding a different saddle is always gonna feel comfortable. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm really, really not sure. I 
I just want to take a second to thank everyone that's supporting what I do on Patreon, especially Adam Fink, Adam Stevens, Alan Porter, Alex Brito, Alex Lee, Annabelle Miley, Anson Liang, Axel Fontaine, IP, Carrie Cleland, Damon Walker, Dakota Morehouse, Daniel Brum, Daniel Silas, Daniel Thorpe, David Jolliffe, Derek Donovan, Devin Barry, Elijah Green, Elijah Legenda, Gaia de Navarre, Jeff and Kelly Elder, James Little, Jessison, Justin Lewis, Justin Jarrod and Arsh, Yuri Ninonin, Kelly Jackson, Kentaro Sakino, the Madston Brothers, Malvin Zen, Kiki Teja, uh, Mario Yegas, Mark Paris, Mike Foxwell, Rocky Top, Sam Richardson, Sophie Vun, Samuel Rook, Stephen Jones, Sumi Lemours, Neil Brooks, Thin Seller, Tommy Nurmajavi, almost there, Travis Kay, Tyson and Bethany Hodge, Warren Snyder, and Vincent Tiburj. Hopefully I pronounce most of, your, most of your names right. Okay, back to the video. Woo! After testing out a couple more covers. It's not really a good way of testing it, is it? I eventually settled on this green one. It seemed to cinch everything together and gave me confidence that it would keep the air pad in place. I swapped my current saddle out with this new one and gave it a test ride. You know what, that didn't feel half bad. This gave me the confidence to take the risk of leaving my current saddle with Amy and continue the remainder of my journey on my new air seat. The next morning, it was time to leave Amy and Marietta and carry on riding to the East Coast. It's been great to have you. It's been great to be here. I feel, yeah, I feel rested. I'm so glad. That's important. Um, cheers for the fix of the saddle. Yeah, I'd be curious to know how that, how that goes. Me too. It was great to spend time with her and see Unicycle.com and I only hope that the final 1,000 miles to New York would be a lot more comfortable. It's, it's great to have you test the prototype for us because yeah. this, this is the best test we could do. I was heading towards Charlotte, a city just 300 miles away in North Carolina. I've been invited there by Carrie Gray, the guy who made my original pannier bags and ultimately helped get my idea of unicycling around the world off the ground. He was in North Carolina, painting a mural on a water tank of all things. And as I continued pedalling northeast, I became increasingly excited to meet this absolute pioneer of the unicycle touring world. But this meeting is definitely an instalment for next time. If you're feeling impatient and can't wait for next week's video, you're in luck, because the next episode is available right now on my Patreon. And if you're feeling really impatient, you can head over to Vimeo and watch the entire Ed Unicycles the USA series from start to finish over there. Your support is greatly appreciated. Well, this old thing ain't built for speed, but I love my trusty dusty speed. It'll get me around the world soon, then I'll try a full moon. I know my route is roundabout, but I sure as hell don't have a doubt. It'll get me where I'm going, as long as the wind is blowing. I'm well aware of dangers out there, and it's not that I don't.